Hello all, welcome back to Nanotech. Today's topic is, Nanotechnology for Cardiovascular Diseases. We know that, cardiovascular diseases are the leading cause of morbidity and mortality in both the developed and developing countries. Among which, coronary artery diseases make the greatest contributions to morbidity and mortality. The current diagnosis and treatment modality for cardiovascular disease still have limitations. Nanotechnology has shown strong potential for clinical use. Here I will discuss in detail about recent advances in nanotechnology in the diagnosis of cardiovascular disease. With the assistance of nanotechnology greatly influenced the sensitivity and specificity of the existing biosensors and bioimaging strategies. The most common cause of cardiovascular diseases is atherosclerosis, a progressive disease involving the deleterious accumulation of lipids and fibrins within the arterial wall and a maladaptive immune response and dysregulation of cholesterol metabolism, initiating the formation of aterosclerotic plaques. The branches off the aortic root, namely, the left and right coronary arteries, supply oxygen-rich blood to the myocardium. Aterosclerotic lesions in the coronary arteries can cause lumen obstruction and stenosis, resulting in myocardial ischemia, hypoxia, and even necrosis, known as coronary aterosclerotic heart diseases or coronary artery disease. Nanotechnology approaches to detect cardiovascular diseases. The early diagnosis of cardiovascular diseases increases the chance for successful treatment and potential cure, giving patients better prognoses and extended survival times. Cardiovascular diseases-related biomarkers, such as cardiac troponins, myoglobin, creatinine kinase MB, C-reactive protein and a series of miRNAs are released into the bloodstream when the heart is damaged or stressed. Therefore, one promising approach for the early diagnosis of cardiovascular diseases is to develop precise, specific, simple, stable, and rapid analyses of blood for such molecules. Protein targets are first sensed by recognition molecules such as antibodies, aptamers, or molecularly imprinted polymers, and the sensing is then quantitatively detected by various methods, including electrochemistry, electrochemiluminescence, fluorescent methods, colorimetry, surface-enhanced Raman scattering, and surface plasmon resonance technology. Nanomaterials with excellent optoelectric properties greatly improve the detection sensitivity by orders of magnitude. A group of researchers synthesized gold triangular nanoprism-based localized surface plasmon resonance biosensor to monitor cardiac troponins in plasma, serum, and urine. The cardiac troponins assay achieved an atomolar 15 AM, limit of detection, making it at least 50-fold more sensitive than other label-free techniques. They suggest that, the shape of nanomaterials is another of the key features to optimize for sensitive detection. Another group of researchers developed aptosensor, nanodiamonds and hydrogen substituted graftine heteronanostructure for myocardial infarction and cardiac troponin eye sensing. They got excellent sensing performances with this nanosensor. Because of the small size, higher diagnostic sensitivity, and faster diagnostic time, nanomaterials have been used to construct more precise biosensors to detect cardiovascular disease biomarkers. Nano biosensors may be beneficial in portable devices used in hospitals, homes, ambulances, or chest pain centers in the future. Thank you for watching. See you soon with another interesting topics.